guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Rob, and this is my channel, Rob With. Uh, guys, uh, as you can see in the title, uh, this is going to be a uh, uh, kind of like a controversial uh, uh, talk uh, among the fragrance community and as the title says uh, how to wear your fragrances and how to wear them properly now we're going to touch up on some topics and um, I'm going to use a category and the category will be who where when what and why now every subject is going to give you an explanation on how to uh, how to pick the fragrance, uh, where to use them, etc. So let's start with who. Now you're you're in a store or in the market for a new fragrance, and um, or you're in the market to buy a fragrance to somebody. That fragrance you're buying, who are you, who are you buying it for? Is it going to be for a teenager? Is it going to be somebody in their mid twenties, middle age, or is it going to be an older person? You know, those are factors you have to look at when you're picking out a fragrance. You know, not every fragrance fits everybody. For example, uh, One Million. One Million is uh, very sweet. Uh, has uh, has It's very potent. It has like a, a bubblegum note to it. So, would you buy that for somebody in their mid-50s? Uh, Middle age, an older person? I don't know. Maybe you want to look into something like, you know, Maybe in the Tom Ford line, maybe Tom Ford Noir for men. You know, that is a darker fragrance. Cater maybe more to somebody a little more mature, maybe like Great Vetiver. Maybe you can go with something neutral. Again, those are, uh, uh, you know, points that you have to look at when you're buying a fragrance. Now, when you're trying to buy the fragrance, where are you going to buy it? Uh, where? You're, you're trying to figure out. How are you going to buy this fragrance? How are you going to figure out what's the right fragrance? Well, there's many ways to do it. You can go to somebody like me, YouTube, a YouTube reviewer. Um, I may not be uh, the most popular guy, but, you know, I'm your average guy. I can, you know, I buy fragrances just like you do, and I watch uh, videos just like you do. I look at uh, uh, most, uh, uh, the top, top 10 most complimented, you know, panty droppers. All that stuff and uh, you know uh, another great tip will be to go to like your local store for example uh, I have Macy's uh, Macy's local store they have a great fragrance department they have sales associates the problem is with that uh, with something like Macy's that a lot of fragrances there have uh, sales associates that are catered to one particular house they have somebody that works for Chanel somebody that works for Dior uh, but again, if, you, if you're interested in something in, in a house and you see a sales associate that works for that house, they might give you uh, their best opinion on what might work for you or whatever it is uh, that you're buying the fragrance for, if you're not sure. That helps a lot. These people do know uh, what's, uh, you know, the newest uh, fragrances that have came out and, you know, maybe, maybe you might get one of them to budge and say, you know, let's go to this you can probably get this one, uh, you know, they, they might help you out with another company or another house. And uh, again, what better than your sense of smell? You can, you know, when you smell something and you love it, you get it. You know, you, your, your, your sense of smell, your nose will tell you what's the right fragrance for you. You don't have to listen to everybody. I pick, you know, a lot of my fragrances are, 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 are just, you know, because they smell good to me. And uh, I do get my wife to help me out sometimes. You know, believe it or not, my kids help me out, and uh, you know, friends of mine. But generally, I, I pick what I like. Okay, so uh, the fragrance that you're buying, uh, this person that you're buying it for, uh, when when are you going to use it? So when I will say, what occasions are you going to use it for? Uh, are you going to use it uh, to go out to dates? Are you going to use it to go out to clubs? Are you going to use it to go to work? You know, you have to look at those factors because every fragrance works differently in different places. Not that the fragrance has a life of its own and it's going to start, uh, you know, change your mood or anything like that. But again, fragrances do work differently uh, depending, uh, work better in, in certain areas. For example, if you wear a fresh fragrance, uh, fresh fragrance, for example, I'll give you um, 
a very common fragrance like uh, Dolce, Dolce Gabbana uh, Light Blue for men. That's been around for a while. And that fragrance there is a fresh fragrance and a little woody there, a little salty. That is, I think it's catered better for, you know, general use uh, because it has the fresh, salty, woody notes there. You can, it'll go well in the summer, well for office use, and probably well in some, in the fall, in spring, you know. Now, when you're looking for a fragrance that's going to fit most of the occasion, I'll say something like Dior Sauvage or Boulot Chanel, that works in all types of occasions. You know, you can dress it up, dress it down. You know, you can, uh, uh, you know, go out in the summer, go out in the fall, winter. But there are some fragrances, for example, uh, uh, Tom Ford uh, uh, Extreme, Noir Extreme. That is a dark fragrance that has a lot of sweet notes, that has like a pistachio note. Really nice fragrance. This is one of my favorite fragrances. In my collections what in it's actually on my top 10 if you look at my previous video uh, that fragrance is I think it's catered more for you know winter time you know night out uh, you can probably wear it you can wear it casually but you know you you, you want to be well dressed you know it's, it's a very you know it has a, a high class feel to it you know and it's you know it's it's catered for somebody older and uh, again there's uh, uh, you know all types of uh, uh, you know fragrances out there you want to make sure you pick the ones that fit the most uh, for whatever uh, whether you are you're going to be using it for so there's also you know fragrances that cater better for winter uh, fall spring and summer now touching that up on the summertime you want to go with something fresher uh, you know something uh, lemony something with more of an ocean scent. I don't want to go to a mechanical or uh, uh, I don't want to go too deep into to the fragrance language, but you know, you want to go with something that's oceany, something fresh for the summertime. Now, if you're in the springtime, you want to go with something that's a little more green, a little more woody. That's, in my opinion, that works best uh, within that t uh, during that time. You know, you can go with something sweet. Now, as it gets colder, you want to go with something sweet, but a little darker. You want to go with uh, something like vetiver. Uh, you want to go with something woody, amber notes. Uh, um, you know, the darker, and usually the juice will tell you, uh, 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 juice will usually tell you it's uh, what what season it's for. Usually the the fresher scents for the, for the hotter uh, times are usually lighter in color. For the darker uh, in the colder seasons, they're usually darker in color. I don't know if it's a coincidence, but yes, most of the time. So, uh, uh, did I touch up on the what? Uh, uh, the what? Yes. So, why? Why am I buying this fragrance? Am I buying it for the hype or am I buying it because I like it? Now, you have to, you know, really look into that, you know. Am I going to buy a fragrance because every reviewer is saying, uh, you know, this is the best fragrance. You got to get it. You have to get it. This is a panty dropper. Yes and no. Now, like I said, if you want to go with the blind buy, which is not everybody's cup of tea to go, to blind buy, and not, every, not everybody has the budget to start blind buying uh, fragrances, what I would suggest will be to, if you do like, uh, you know, uh, watching YouTube channels and following, uh, uh, you know all the all the hype uh, I will probably stick to like I said you know stick to the the you know their the most complimented you know you know panty droppers all that stuff that will probably give you a rough idea and look at the ladies too the lady uh, reviewers too will give you uh, some a lot of help in that you know generally the female reviewers usually have about just about if you look at their list they're they, they just about match they're they're pretty much picking out the same stuff that other female reviewers are picking so that might help you out uh i'm picking out uh fragments you know ask your girlfriend or ask your your female cousins to help you out with that and um you know be careful with the hype you know like i said follow your nose now how to wear your fragrances now you're gonna do this at your own risk 
but again, I'm going to I'm going to try to guide you as best as I can because I want the best for you guys. I want you guys to smell good. And I want you if you're following my channel, I want you guys to, you know, to make some smart decisions when it comes to, you know, uh, you know, buying fragrances and you know, helping you out and picking something that smells good. You know, like I said, most of my fragrances I say 90, 98% of my fragrances are generally pleasing. They, they, they smell good. They most all of them, most most all of my fragrances smell good. I don't buy anything that's too risky. They have to smell good. They have to cater to most of the people around me. So how would I start wearing, uh, how would I wear a fragrance? What would I do first? First of all, you want to take a good shower. You want to make sure you cleanse yourself well. You want to wash your hair. You want to make sure everything's nice and cleansed. Now, you, after that, you want to, you know, you want to moisturize. And usually I like to moisturize as soon as I'm done with my shower. Because, you know, the pores are open. You want to get that the lotion in your system, get you well moisturized. And um, one lotion that I use, like I said, you can go with anything, but I use Lubriderm. Lubriderm Unscented. Uh, that's one that works really well. And it works well for me. Uh, but again, you can buy uh, any unscented lotion. You know, most unscented lotions, the big jugs are like five, six bucks. You know, unscented lotion, unscented lotion. You don't want to go with something too expensive. Just make sure you're well moisturized before you start applying your fragrances. Now, how will you apply your fragrance? My personal opinion, uh, when it's a fresh fragrance, light juice, when I know it's something that's fresh, that's going to be for summer, I, you know, they usually don't have that much stain power, so I moisturize well, like I said. And I usually start, if I have a short sleeve shirt, I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the way I do it in the summer. Sometimes I go behind your legs, you know, right, right behind your knees, you can do that as well. And if it's really weak, uh, you want to double up your pulse points. Uh, double up in your arms and you don't have to double up in the chest as long as you double up your pulse points and double up your arms you should be good to go winter time winter time you can do the same winter fragrances if you if you test it out on a strip and you know it's potent and it lasts a long time you know you want to go with bios to test them out see how long they last too if you can get a sample and if it's a strong fragrance you want to go one two three and four that's it that's all you need, that's all you need for a really dark long lasting fragrance and that should give you you know that should last you most of the day like i said it's also dependent on the fragrance so that's for the winter now remember uh if you want your 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 fragrance to project you want to make sure you have it exposed too when you are uh wearing it out in the cold weather you want to have it exposed and you want to have something something inside of you because you want it to come out of your clothes and that'll that'll you know it, it'll resonate out of your clothes it, it'll give you a nice scent bubble and I like it a lot of people do the head but I think the head does help in, in forming a nice scent bubble and it carries around you as you walk it leaves a nice scent trail you know if people are gonna are gonna you know if you do have people that know you and you know in your workplace and you know you know you, you're you have a nice uh, sense of humor that helps tremendously a person with a nice sense of humor you know add it with a nice fragrance well dressed it's always going to grab attention with the ladies of you know you can't go wrong with that you know you have to have personality too it's not just you know spraying the fragrance and being you know the bummed out guys and doesn't have any personality you have to be a nice person too you have to be nice you have to be you know have to make people laugh i'm that you know i'm the type of guy that when i approach people i try to approach approach them in the most positive way and my tip is i always tell i actually told my friends this and i uh when you talk to somebody find an interest in that person for example you know that person's into electronics you you know you you go to that person wow nice watch man yeah yeah man you know yeah, I like wearing watches, man. Yeah, man, I like, yeah, that's real nice, man. You know, you start the conversation. Female, she has a nice ring. You say, wow, what a beautiful ring. Wow, such beautiful eyes. Wow, your hair looks great. Wow, you, you, you know, you smell nice. I love your purse, you know. Start the conversation, you know, make the person feel comfortable. And trust me, that person will gravitate towards you 
automatically if you're that type of person. Approachable. You have to be approachable. So, guys, those are my tips. I know I held you up for a long time, but I hope you guys uh, take these tips and, you know, like I said, use them at your own risk. But again, I'm giving you the best of me and giving you my best tips. And I hope you use them. And guys, also, I hope you guys have a great day. And keep tuning in, guys. Uh, I'll be coming up with a, uh, hopefully a Valentine's list sometime this week. We are uh, in February. Valentine's is right around the corner, guys. Thank you so much. Have a great day.